Hiya, this is Susie back from Susie's Singers. What I'm doing in tonight's video is this machine here has been stripped of parts. It's never going to sew again. I've taken the case, I've taken the base and everything. My only option really was to send it to the scrap heap or use it as a project. The paintwork, the black paintwork and the decals were really, really shot. I'm actually halfway through this, but I thought you might find it interesting. I'm going to strip this back to bare metal. Now, this has of no value at all. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the project. The easiest option would have been to get a can of nitromores that would have cost me about 12, 13 pounds plaster it on that would have got rid of the old paint but I did actually have in my toolbox here methylated spirits and white spirits which are just basically paint thinners now it's going to take me a lot more work but I'm tight so I've got time I'll do it right my motto is we have to save them all so if I can do something with this machine, I'm going to do it. I've already stripped quite a bit off, but as you can see, it's really quite gunky. If you're going to try anything like this yourself, I do have to say to you, one, wear gloves. Two, work in a well-ventilated area. And any cloths that you use, if you've rubbed them in stuff like methylated spirits or white spirits, they are combustible. So when you've finished, don't just throw them in the trash, run them under water and put them in a plastic bag so it cuts off the oxygen supply so they can't continue, um, spontaneously combust. Right. What I've done with this, I've constantly been spraying it with the methylated spirits. Yeah. Obviously, goes without saying, cover your area up, cover your work area up. I'm actually using here, I get these $1.99 from Screw Fix for three. This is almost like a metal toothbrush. You're not going to harm this, it's solid metal. So, spray it. That's not methylated spirits, I spilled a wine glass. Occupational hazard and just keep rubbing over it. Clean as you go, replace your cloths, replace your newspaper, but if you want to do this cheaply and you want to do a good job, this is as good a way as anything. As you can see, the paint is melting, it's breaking up, it's getting sticky. Just get the brush on it and just keep rubbing over it. You will get down to the bare metal eventually that almost has like a crop, copper stroke bronze finish to it. It's cast iron. Now it will rust, so be careful. If you do it outside, it will rust. And that's why, because we're in a Scottish winter now, it's blowing a hoolie outside. Um, obviously, I don't want then the job of scraping the stuff because then that will add... To your project you're going to have to prime it you're going to have to use a rust remover so just keep working keep spraying it keep using an abrasive tool and just keep going over it i've still got some of the workings in this the reason being is that they're absolutely jam solid so what am i doing there my faithful friend wd-40 just keep spraying it, just keep working it. When I actually come to repaint this machine, I'm going to have all the mechanics taken off it. This is where the um, wheel went, this is where the spoke wheel went. I'm going to probably leave this because it's not going to be seen. But I will take off the needle bar, I will take off the foot bar. I've still got all the chrome work that's the access plate here, the needle plate here, and an access plate behind. They will be finished in a nice chrome finish, but this machine will never work. Okay, right, I'll leave you with that. 
any questions please ask any comments please put them below i know that there'll be a lot of people that will say never do that to a sewing machine but if you saw my sewing room and the amount of machines that i've got this was never going to be used it would have been scrapped let's make it pretty yeah thank you for watching i'd love you to subscribe to the channel any tips anything that you'd like me to cover please feel free to ask i'll see you in part two